What's up guys? Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another full day of eating for y'all. Obviously, I already got ready. I took my kids to school, came home, and quickly got ready for the day because I actually have some errands to run this morning. I have to head back up to my son's schools and sign some paperwork, do some stuff there, and then I have to head to the bank. So today, I'm actually not going to make like a real breakfast. I am going to have a meal replacement on the go. If you are not new to my channel, you already know what I always use. But if you're new to my channel, we are going to be using the Premier Protein sh Shake today and some coffee. So this is always my meal replacement in the morning when I am on the go and I always have things to do. It just comes convenient. I always keep these in the fridge just for days like this. Um, if you work and you don't have time to make breakfast in the morning or you're just very busy person, person in the morning, and then these are awesome for when you're on the go. Um, they have other shakes that you can use. I like, I personally like Premier Protein. They have tons of flavors. This one is the bananas and cream, which happens to be my favorite. This one and the cookies and cream are the bomb and the coffee one. You know what? All of them are just good. <laughs> I can never decide. Like the vanilla one, I like simple vanilla because then you can just like add any flavoring to it rather than like the other ones are already flavored so I like all of them but today we're gonna be use the bananas and cream and the macros range on each flavor this one is three net carbs it's four total and one dietary fiber so subtract those two four minus one is three net carbs that's how you get your net carbs guys it's very simple and easy to do once you really get the hang of it and understand it and it has one gram of sugar so we're going to use a whole shake today and for my coffee i'm use i'm still using the unsweet unsweet because i messed up the last day make sure it's unsweet black um they have another one that's unsweet black as well but this one's the bold and smooth i remember, i think the other one's just bold or something like that so this is a stock cold brew coffee um i just get this at heb um, I believe they have it at Walmart and Kroger, whatever grocery store you have, they're going to be in the code section by all the other code coffees. So I always put about a cup in here. I usually fill it up to the end. Now you could put ice. You're probably like, Sammy, why aren't you putting ice? Well, I ran out of ice and my fridge obviously has an ice maker. I'm going to use the rest of this. Obviously has an ice maker on it. But when we moved into this new house, we were in a, not a rush, but we lived like in an upstairs and my, as you can see, my fridge is huge. So it was take, we couldn't figure out how to like, I guess take one of the door, the door off to undo the ice machine. And it was just a hassle. It was taking hours and my husband just snipped it. So now I don't have the water thing or the ice thing, but it's okay. So I just buy like ice all the time, but I run out. So you can put ice in here, of course, for your iced coffee, but it's cold anyways. So I have about a cup, probably a little bit more over a cup because I used, just used the rest of it. And then I usually put the whole premier shake. Mm, I love the bananas and cream. It's so good. So good. I heard the Quest ones are good too. Is it Quest that I'm talking about? I believe Quest. Um... But I have yet to try them. I was actually going to pick them up the other day and then I forgot. So I had to put them on my list. I need to try the Quest ones. But I have the whole container and it has 30 grams of protein. So really good. Now I usually just shake it up and leave it like this. But with the banana flavor, I always add the Jordan Skinny Syrup. So I add the Jordan Skinny Syrup in the caramel flavor just because I feel like when you add a splash with it, it tastes like banana nut. Like I've told y'all before, it's so good. So usually I just add this one with this. I just add a splash, nothing crazy. And then I just shake it up. And this is going to be my meal replacement for the morning, guys, because I have some things to do this morning. But we will be having lunch because I'm hungry. I'm hungry today. It worked out. I feel like every day or like during the week when I work out, the weekends I don't really care to like eat too early or I'm not that hungry. It just ranges. But yesterday I worked out and I'm hungry. My workouts have been going great. Great, great, great. So you just shake it all up. And you have yourself your meal replacement for on the go. So I'm going to sip on this. Before I head out, because I actually have to head out right now. 
Um, I'm just gonna check a few comments on my YouTube from y'all, reply to a couple comments. I try to get back to y'all as soon as I can. Thank y'all so much for the love. I absolutely appreciate it. But I'll let y'all know right now when I'm about to head out and then when I come back, it's probably still to be, too, it's nine in the morning right now. I'll probably still be too early and this will probably keep me full for a couple hours. But we will see what we have for lunch. I know what we're having for dinner. We are going to make some keto ramen because that's what my husband wanted with some shrimp. It's so good. That's what we are having for dinner today. We are headed out to run my errands and we are freezing. I am so cold. I absolutely love the winter, but then when it comes, I'm like, Never mind, I'm over it. Especially when it's windy. It's not windy today, but the other day was like really windy. And I don't like windy, cody days. I just like it when it's cold and it's still. I could deal with it, but I'm freezing today. Say hi, Bash. He's mad. <laughs> He's mad at me. I feel bad, my baby. Well, okay, I'm sorry. When we got in the car right now, I he was behind me, but I didn't like. I was looking at a cat across the street when I opened the door and it kind of tapped him in the head and I felt bad, but he's okay, but he's mad at me. <laughs> My poor baby. I'm sorry. Yeah. But all right guys, we are going to head out to run some errands really quickly. So I went and ran my errands. I went to the school, that took a little bit because I had to sign all this paperwork and I went to the bank. And then I am just leaving Burlington. I wanted to come and get my husband a new belt and some socks, I know guys. But he never like asked for those little things that he needs. And if he doesn't ask, he will never get it. So I just come and buy it when I know he needs something. He, I didn't get to get him a new belt because they didn't have his size, but I got him some new socks. And it's literally like the littlest things that this man does not ask for. <laughs> he needed some new socks, so I had to get him some. And then I got my baby some pants and I got a, a purse. I got a new purse don't say nothing I need a bag I don't have one and I don't know I just don't buy myself that little those little things and I saw it and I thought it was really cute so I got it but I am headed home now and when we get home I'm probably going to end up making me a quick lunch okay I'm back home and I already know what I want for lunch so if y'all saw my post yesterday I made some carne asada jicama fries and I have some leftover carne asada that I don't want to go to waste so, I was thinking of salad, but I'm kind of burnt out on salads. And I haven't had low-carb tortillas in a couple, like, two weeks or so. So, I really want a steak quesadilla. So, I think that's what we're having for lunch today. And, oh, look, this is the bag I got from Burlington. I thought I'd just show y'all. It's really cute. It was only $19. And I don't have a bag, like, that I carry around. I always carry around this. <laughs> like, this is my purse. And I have, like, all my cards in it. I don't know, I just don't carry around a bag, but I figured, I've been thinking like the past two days, I don't know what made me think that I saw something and I really wanted like a bag, a side bag, and I've been wanting one for the past couple days and I saw this one and I had to get it. I always feel guilty when I buy myself stuff just because like my husband, he spoils me to death and y'all see that, like he buys me all my kitchen stuff like if I want something or he sees something that will be useful for me, like in the kitchen, like my new table I got that I posted. You know, it helps me out with my videos and my cooking and my meal prepping and all that stuff. And he spoils me to death. So when I get something like that I want, like for my star, like I see that I want for myself, I always feel guilty. Even though it was only $19, I'm like, Sam, don't feel guilty. Like I work my butt off for stuff. And so does he, but him, like he go, he likes to buy cologne and like electronic stuff. So I never know what to get him because he's so picky, but I got him socks. <laughs> No, he just needed socks. I got him 15 pairs, okay? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But no, for all. But this is cute. I really liked it. So I thought I'd show y'all. But let's get started on lunch because I'm hungry. So for my ingredients for my quesadilla, I'm keeping it real simple. I'm just going to have some avocado on the side. I was going to use some sour cream, but I just realized I was out. So for some fat, I'm going to add some avocado. These are the low-carb tortillas I like to use that y'all have seen a couple of times. These are the lamb ban bandera. But these are the snack size, so they're smaller. They have regular wraps, and then they have these. These are three net carbs each. They're really good. This is probably my favorite low-carb tortilla that I've tried. I got these at Kroger. So this is just some left that leftover meat. Um, it's I'll tell y'all what it's seasoned with right now. Then I'm just going to add a little bit of this salsa that I got this week. Oh, my God. I tried this yesterday, and it's so good, but it's hot. So somebody commented that they absolutely love it, and I tried it, and... 
Oh yeah, I'm getting this from now on. <laughs> and then the street, the, the trees, the cheese I'm using is just some shredded Monterey Jack. And I will um, sear these in some butter just to add some more fat. But the meat is just like, yesterday I seen it, seasoned it with some Uncle Chris's steak seasoning, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of garlic seasoning, and I squeezed some lime juice on there. And I love to add lime juice to like steaks like that. It's really good. But let's get to cooking these easy quesadillas. So I'm just gonna melt down some butter in a pan. And I get a lot of people ask me, what kind of butter do I use on keto? So I use Kerrygold. It is a grass-fed butter and it has really great flavor. I absolutely love it. You want to stay away from margarine. You want to stay away from the fake butters, away from vegetable oil. You want to get real butter. So just look for that. I recommend Kerrygold. It's really good. I'm just going to melt this down just a little bit and then I'm going to take it out because I'm going to melt down some more just here in a bit. And I'm going to be making two tortillas today. I'm gonna let this cook through a little bit. Let it get nice and crispy. I'm gonna add a little bit of Monterey Jack cheese. Guys, you can have any cheese on keto. I recommend shredding your own, but I don't. <laughs> I mean, I do with certain cheeses, but like this Monterey Jack cheese, I just bought pre-shredded. Um, I've lost a lot of weight just, you know, buying pre-shredded cheese. It's just because they say that it has potato starch in it from um, to keep it from sticking together. So, I mean, block cheese to me tastes way better, but it's just like little cheeses like that that I don't really use often. I kind of just buy shredded, but it doesn't really matter. You can eat any cheese you want on keto. I did dice up my meat a little bit, so I'm just going to add it right here in the middle and just let it get nice and crispy, and then I'm going to fold it. I'm also going to add the avocado inside of the quesadilla. Just very little. I don't know why, but I love quesadillas for lunch. I just feel like they're very quick and easy and you can fill them up with anything. You can use any kind of meat that you want, any kind of cheese, add some sour cream, some hot sauce, some avocado. Just gonna fold it like that and let it get nice and crispy. Get that nice and crispy from that butter. Y'all see the little Miss Shady over here? Always waiting for some food to drop. To have shady. <laughs> this one is done. I'm just gonna put my second one on and just do the same thing. You can also, um, I like to make breakfast quesadillas as well. You can get this low carb tortilla, put some cheese in there with some scrambled eggs, maybe some bacon, just like tacos. But I like, I don't know why I like to crisp my tortillas, like flour tortillas, instead of just like cooking them really fast. I like to get them nice and crispy. Adding some avocado. I think it's crazy when people say they don't like avocado. <laughs> I absolutely love avocado. Get that goodness. Looks delicious. Quick and easy lunch. Y'all can pack these up and take them on the go as well. And lunch is done, very quick and easy. You don't have to think much about it. You just slap some stuff in there and you have yourself a quick and easy lunch. You can put any kind of meat, add some extra avocado, add some sour cream, some pico, cilantro, any bell peppers, anything that you like to make a good quesadilla. And I'm just gonna dip it in a little bit of salsa. I was gonna pour it in there, but it might be a little too hot. So I'm just gonna dip it on the side. And I'm having some water, but I'm going to squirt some Mio Sport very electrolyte berry blast flavor i just happened to have the electrolyte one but they sell regular ones as well i love the meal drops you just squirt it in your water and it adds extra flavor without all the sugar and stuff like that so just gonna sit here and enjoy some lunch i ate my lunch and it was delicious and i am full it really hit the spot so i'm gonna be good until dinner so I wanted to go over really quickly, if you saw my last grocery haul, you know that I had picked up some new products and I just wanted to touch base on those products with y'all and let y'all know how I enjoyed them. So first up, I got these good to go bars and I had tried their cinnamon flavor in my keto crate, but I saw that they had a strawberry macadamia nut and I had to get it. I absolutely love macadamia nut. And it does come with four bars in the pack. Now this box ran about seven, $7.97 a box, I believe, seven something. So that runs about $1.99 
a bar, which is not bad. Um, I don't, I don't buy stuff like this often. They're good to have on hand, especially when you need to like, this is good to go out the door. It, like it says, good to go. They're great to head out the door when you just need a quick snack or something like that. Um, I just like to try new products and I, when I wanna splurge on products like these every once in a while, I will. When I find something that I like, I will buy it. And I will buy it, you know, when I run out as I go. Um, but these are really good. I highly recommend trying these. I like their cinnamon flavor. I believe they have a vanilla one, but it was out when I went or else I would have picked up that one too. So this has two grams of sugars, four net carbs and seven grams of fiber. And it is really good. It's made with almond flour, erythritol, macadamia nuts, apple cider vinegar, ground chia seeds, freeze dried strawberry pieces, really good um, organic ingredients and they're delicious. So when you open it up, it has like four little pieces. And I believe the serving size is the whole bar, just to make sure, yes, it's one bar. And I really enjoyed these. So I will pick these up often when I run out, whenever I'm just craving them and I really wanna get them. Next, I did try the Fat Snacks Almond Flour Crackers in the cheddar flavor. I did get the everything flavor too, but I haven't tried these yet, but I will update y'all when I do. So these are like a Cheez-It basically. They're supposed to be like a Cheez-It. They're five grams total carbs, three grams of fiber and two net carbs. They ran you about $5, almost $6 a box. Um, and I did try them by themselves. Now they are crunchy slightly because they are made with almond flour. They're not like a snap kind of crunch, like, like, they, you know, it snaps, but when you bite it, it's crunchy and then it gets real soft. But they're really good. They have really good flavor, real good cheddar flavor. This is probably the best cracker replacement that I've tried. I absolutely love these. I will buy these from now on. And just dip them in some cream cheese. Like it gives you like little options on the back that you can try. I just did it with plain cream cheese, but you could put everything not included bagel seasoning. It says to make dip it in some guacamole, a veggie smear, sweet onions, just all kinds of toppings that you can use. And they were so good, so, so good. I absolutely love them. The ingredients are almond flour, egg whites, cheddar cheese, coconut flour, Oh, so wow, I'm surprised it has coconut flour in it because usually, like I like coconut flour, but only in certain things. I'm not the biggest fan of coconut flour just because it has that real coconut taste, but I don't taste that in here. I just taste real cheddar and I knew it was made with almond flour, just just tasting it. I mean, of course it says it on the box, but I, could, I know it's made with almond flour, I could taste it. And it has Parmesan cheese and just other little things, seasonings and stuff like that but really, really good. And then they have the everything. I think they only have these um, two flavors so far, but I'll give these a try and let you, you know what, I'm just gonna try it right now. I'm just gonna try it on camera. I'll just eat one little cracker, cause I'm full, but I'm gonna try it for y'all. Okay, I smell it. As soon as you open it, it smells like the everything seasoning. Oh yeah, they smell good. So this is what the, oh, this is what these look like. You can see the seasoning, they're real thin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These are really good, really good. It has the same texture, but the, if you like everything bagel seasoning, you're gonna like these. These are really good. Okay, I'm convinced. These both are, these are really good. I recommend getting these if y'all wanna give them a try. This one it has like different spreads. Hummus, you can spread hummus. Um, is hummus keto? I think it is. I don't know, I don't eat hummus, so y'all would have to look at the nutrition facts. I've never tried hummus in my life, so I don't know. It says cheesy bacon spread. If they put it on here, I'm sure, because it's keto snacks. Um, they have cheesy bacon spread, and then veggie smear like the other one. But yeah, get these if y'all haven't tried them yet. I found them at H-E-B. They might have them at Walmart because I see a, Walmart has a lot of keto stuff. When I go to Walmart, they have a lot of keto stuff, so they might have them there. So just look in your local area, check them out if y'all wanna try these out. So I ate lunch and I did a little bit of cleaning up around my house. But before I go pick up my kids from school, I wanted to prepare me a dessert for tonight. Usually I pick out one dessert each week that I wanna make. 
Um, sometimes it's like a new dessert that I want to try out and sometimes it's just one of my favorite desserts. So today we're going to make some easy brownie cookies and I'm going to make some cookies later on tonight for my kids. That's why I really wanted a cookie. I was craving some. So we're going to make an easy brownie cookie. So you're just going to want a bowl and into your bowl you're going to add one cup of confectioner swerve sugar replacement. I have a little bit here left in the bag. That's why I had two bags. And it's only a few ingredients that you need for these cookies. They're really easy, but they're like a thin cookie. They're not thick, but they're delicious. So I have less like half a cup left in that bag. Just gonna add a little bit more to make one cup. If you want, you could sift the sugar and the cocoa powder that we're about to add right now, but I just get a whisk and kind of break it all apart. I'm just trying not to drop my sugar. Okay, so you're gonna add one cup of your powdered sugar replacement, and then you're gonna want some unsweetened cocoa. I just use the Hershey's kind. And you're going to add one third cup. And then you're going to want to mix this all together. I kind of just get a whisk first and break everything apart. So if you are ever craving something sweet and you're kind of like that person that just randomly craves something, I recommend just like planning a dessert at least once. A it depends how many times you go shopping. I go once a week. Y'all know that. So I plan a dessert usually once a week. Or sometimes I don't, but most of the time I do. Because me and my husband, we are we have the biggest sweet tooth. So I always recommend just planning ahead of time, writing down what dessert you want for that week. Usually the desserts, um, they make batches. So you have yourself a dessert throughout the week. And you don't have to crave into any bad sweets or anything like that. Okay, so once all, all of that is nice and mixed together, you're going to use two egg whites. I should just buy a container of egg whites because I mean, I don't use them often, but it's always easier to, I guess, to have them on hand rather than doing this. I have an egg white separator, I believe. I just didn't want to take it out. <laughs> okay, I think that's good. So two egg whites. I have a trash can right here. This is my new table that my husband bought me and I love it. Now I could sit down and do little recipes like this. And it goes up to your level. It adjusts levels to your height. I love it. Okay, so two egg whites in that. And then you're just going to like mix these together with a spatula, just like this. Woo, got powder going everywhere. I am the biggest chocolate fan, if y'all can't tell. I want everything chocolate. My husband is like vanilla, I'm like, so boring it's good but it's boring okay you just want to make sure the egg white gets well mixed in there it's gonna start getting like gooey this is a real like I'm not gonna say gooey cookie but kind of like that it's real soft Okay, I had to wash my hands really quickly because I had egg whites on my hands. But this is what it should look like. It should be chunky but kind of smooth. You just want to make sure that you have all the powder mixed up in there with the egg whites. Okay, once you have all of your mixture nice and mixed like this, you're going to add in some chocolate chips. I add in about one-third cup. I think I forgot my one-third cup. Oh, no, it's right there. I add in about one third cup. Now you can also, since it's a brownie one, I'm using the Lily's chocolate chips. But you can change up your Lily's chips. They have different flavors and whatever flavor you want to use. And just fold these in. You could probably even do a mix of like the white chocolate chips with the chocolate. 
just depends what you like. So you just want to fold them in like this. And now we're going to get a baking sheet so we can bake these in our oven. It was very simple, only a few ingredients to make these really good cookies. I'm preheating my oven at 350 degrees. And then I just have a flat baking sheet with a piece of parchment paper right here. And you're just going to get a cookie, cookie scoop or whatever you have and scoop them onto your baking sheet. Now these will spread out. So you just leave them like this. And remember, these are going to be thin. Not crazy thin, but they will be thin. I scooped them out onto my baking sheet. And these, I made eight, but it makes about eight or nine, depending how big you scoop it. Before I bake it, I am going to um, sprinkle a little bit of sea salt on there. Just right on top. And then I have my preheat, my oven preheating at 350. And these don't take very long to bake. They take about 10 to 12 minutes. Mm. This is how they look. Let's pop them in the oven. They're going in the oven at 350 for about 10 to 12 minutes. And after about 12 minutes, your cookies should look like these. Now, with these cookies, you cannot touch them. Let them completely cool down because if you eat them right away or move them right away, they're gonna fall apart and crumble and you're just not gonna have no more cookies. <laughs> so let them completely cool down here on the counter and when they do, I'll show y'all what they look like. My cookies have completely cooled off. This is what they should look like. You can see that they are very thin, but they are delicious. This is what they should look like on the inside. And I am going to lay, save these later on tonight for dessert after dinner. But I hope y'all enjoyed this quick and easy keto brownie cookie recipe. They are delicious, especially with a cup of unsweetened almond milk. I just got home, back home from picking up my boys from school. I went out earlier, got them home, and got them settled in. And of course, I'm going to start them some dinner before I have to start mine and my husband's dinner. Um, it's very like rainy here in Houston and gloomy, very dark outside. So it puts me in like a sleepy mood. I feel like this morning was very long for some reason, very like just dragged out. So I'm feeling a little bit tired right now. So I'm just gonna heat me up some coffee that I had here from yesterday. I just click the stay warm button and it heats it all the way through. And I will pour me a nice glass before dinner just to wake me up a bit, just to get me up in the mood right now because I'm feeling tired. Oh my God, these rainy days just make me wanna lay down and put on a movie and just not move. <laughs> But we will get started on dinner here in a bit after I make my boys their dinner. My boys are fed, so now it's just time to get started on mine and my husband's dinner. So before I start, I just have to take the shrimp and you can see that they have the tail on. So I'm going to quickly go through two bags of these and take off all the tails. Um, we like extra shrimp in our ramen and I am cooking for me, my husband and his brother. That's why I have two packs. So I like to give them a good hearty bow of some food like ram the ramen because they don't eat all day. Uh, my husband doesn't eat breakfast. He doesn't like breakfast so he only eats once a day. So when he comes home, he's hungry. So I like to give him a good amount, him and his brother. So that's why I have two bags and I'm just gonna go through it, take off all the tail and rinse them. I peeled all my shrimp tails and I rinsed them and put them in a bowl. Now I'm going to prep our ramen noodles. So if y'all see my grocery haul, these are the noodles that I'm using. I'm using the pasta zero. They are spaghetti shape and shirtake. Um, they are five grams of carbs. I believe the net carbs, two net carbs per, there's two servings in each packet. So we're not gonna eat, oh, I'm not gonna eat all of this. I'm just gonna eat a serving, but I am going to be prepping three ramen, I mean, noodle packets. So all you do is put them in a strainer and drain them and rinse them really well to get out. They don't come, they don't smell, but they do have like a smell to them. But when you cook them down, it goes away. So all you have to do is rinse them very good. And then we are going to sear this and give it some flavor. I rinsed my noodles. Now me and my husband like boiled eggs in this ramen. So right here, I have my Instant Pot. I put four eggs in here with a cup of water and I'm gonna pressure cook them. This is like my favorite way to make boiled eggs. They always come out perfect and I just pressure cook them for two minutes and then you let it natural release for 15 minutes and you have yourself some perfect boiled eggs. Now we're gonna get started on our noodles. So I have a pan here and I'm just gonna let it heat through. And I'm just gonna drop some olive oil in. 
And we're gonna fry our noodles and just give them a little bit of flavor. Once it's heated through, drop in your rinsed and drained noodles. And I'm just gonna season my noodles with a little bit of Slap Your Mama seasoning, just to give it some flavor and get these noodles a little bit cooked before we start on the rest of it. You're only gonna sear this for about three to five minutes, not very long. Just toss around the seasoning into the noodles so it can get nice and coated. Okay, my noodles have been frying for a couple minutes. Now I'll just turn off my heat and set this pan to the side. And now we're gonna bring out a pot. Okay, so I have my pot right here and I'm just gonna light it on a medium heat. And we're gonna drop in some more olive oil. You don't need very much, just about a tablespoon. To my olive oil, I'm going to drop in two tablespoons of minced garlic. And you're just gonna saute it for about a minute. After about a minute, you're gonna add in one pack of sliced mushrooms. You could also use shiitake mushrooms and you're just gonna cook it until the mushrooms are nice and tender. After your mushrooms have cooked down, I sliced up some green onions. You're gonna add in half a cup. After your green onions, we're going to add in our shrimp. And you do want to season your shrimp again. I'm going to season it with the more Slap Your Mama. And you're just going to give it a couple minutes to cook through. This shrimp is pretty much already cooked, but I'm just going to let it heat through. If you have raw shrimp, you just wanna make sure it turns pink. This is what it looks like so far. I apologize if my lighting's a little bit off. Like I said, it's a dark and gloomy day, so then my kitchen gets dark and it just messes up all the lighting. So once your shrimp are cooked through, now I'm going to add in three cups of some chicken broth. After your chicken broth, now you're gonna add two tablespoons of some soy sauce and one tablespoon of sriracha. Give it a good mix and you are going to bring this chicken broth to a simmer. So after you let your broth simmer for a few minutes, your ramen is done. You're just gonna turn off your heat and we're gonna assemble it. It's very quick and easy to make and so delicious. I'm just going to assemble my ramen. So I like to put my noodles at the bottom meaning I just keep my noodles separate from the broth. You're like, Sam, the noodles go at the bottom. I know, I just don't pour the noodles inside the broth. I kind of just um, separate, serve them separated. Okay, I have my serving of noodles in my bowl. Now I'm just gonna take a couple ladles of broth and pour it right over. Mmm, smells and looks delicious. So now we're just gonna top it. I like to top it with a little bit of extra soy sauce, a little bit of extra sriracha, some green onions, and the boiled eggs. And this is what you should have when you're done. Doesn't that look delicious? It smells absolutely amazing my house. I do have a full video on my YouTube channel on this recipe if y'all wanna go back and, and look at my videos or it will pop up at the end of this video for you to click on. And I am just going to sit down and enjoy my keto ramen. This recipe is so delicious. You won't even know you're eating keto ramen. I absolutely love these noodles if y'all haven't tried them before. Um, I've used them a couple, really like this is probably the main recipe that I use these noodles for is the ramen. And we love it. My husband loves this recipe. He asked for this because um, we haven't had it in a while. And he loves it. It's really delicious. So if y'all haven't tried this, make it if y'all make it come back to this video comment how y'all liked it down below 
and y'all are going to love it. So I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy my ramen as it cools off. Um, I would probably wait for my husband, but I like to like I like to eat dinner with him, but he kind of gets here a little bit later, and I like to hurry up and like eat. So when I work out, I don't feel full. So I try to eat as soon as I can, and then I also have to get my boys ready for school tomorrow. They are going to be off this Friday very soon. They are going to go on winter break with all the other kids. Everybody is going on winter break. I'm excited. They're excited. They know Christmas is coming. They see their presents under the tree and they're already flipping out. They're already excited for Santa to come. But all right, guys, I am just going to sit here and enjoy my dinner. Oh, one more thing. I did have someone comment um, on my grocery haul. I believe saying that yeah because I did the meal plan asking what else can they do instead of shrimp for your ramen because some people can't have shrimp um, you can make it just like any other ramen you could do some chicken some pork belly some sliced steak some sliced beef anything like that if you cannot eat shrimp it will still be very delicious so those are just some other um, meat options that y'all can enjoy with y'all's ramen all right guys, we ate dinner earlier and I got to chit chatting with my husband and I don't know where the night went. <laughs> I took my kids a bath. They're already laying down for school and I cleaned up my kitchen and I did eat one of the, oh, I think I'll put them up. I did eat one of the brown, the keto brownie cookies with just like half a cup of unsweetened almond milk. They're delicious, but a warning now, they are very, very chocolatey. So if you try them, just know that they're delicious but very very chocolatey but they were good so i ate one of those and that's it guys i'm about to end my night sorry it wasn't a crazy busy day during the week i kind of just do what i have to do and the day just flies by and we get ready for the next day with school and all that with the kids but i hope y'all enjoyed this what i eat in a day and it gives y'all some ideas on what to make throughout the week and if you did enjoy this video please hit that thumbs up guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome keto recipes and i will see y'all in my next video